We're with wrestling legend Dan Gable. Dan, we're remembering Bill Farrell. Uh, he was your Olympic coach, uh, one of the most influential American wrestlers of the last century, uh, a great human being. Tell us what you think about the man. Well, for me, he hit my life at the exact perfect timing. Uh, the reason why I say that is because I had Olympic competition yet. I had all my high school days were done and my my college days were done, even though he was actually helping me out and I really didn't know it because I was ordering equipment, wrestling equipment, shoes, singlets, all that type of things from his company and I didn't really understand who he was at that time. But once I got to the Olympic level, it's a lot of it's about politics and then a lot of it's about business with you as far as going on in your life in a profession. Mine was going to be wrestling coaching, of course, but I hit a man at my time in my life for a couple years there where politically and business-wise, besides on the mat, he really taught me a lot of things. And so right now, here I am in the United Nations building. I'm looking out over the bay here. I'm looking out over, and I see a sign that says Long Island. This is appropriate now that I'm talking about Bill Farrell because... Uh, I'm staying at the AC. Uh, I think I was there in 1971, 1972. I trained with uh, some of the AC people there, a guy like Mark Miller, uh, those types of guys. But but Bill Farrell was the guy that really uh, helped put together a team of individuals that really became a team of winners. Uh, beyond just what they've done in their career. And they won a lot at the Munich Games. For, and it had a lot to do with him. I mean, I, I can say one thing, that after the first practice that, that they ran, it was unlike what we had ever kind of did before at Iowa State. And there was four of us that were on from Iowa State University. And we kind of walked up to him, and most coaches would have, like, just been tough, hard-nosed guys and wouldn't have take any of our recommendations, but we talked to him a little bit, and honest, honest to God, he adjusted to what us four Iowa Staters needed, and what did we do? We went a gold, a gold, a silver, and a bronze. So, a good coach, a good person knows how to make those types of adjustments, and he don't, not only did it for us, but he did it for a lot of people in the United States. Uh, he was able to go in and take a guy like Rick Sanders, Bobby Douglas, and help mold those guys into uh, world uh, medalists and world champions. So uh, he, he just he's meant a lot to me, and I just want to say that uh, without him in my life, I would have been of some lesser value. There's no doubt. Well, thanks an awful lot, Dan. Yeah, no problem.